It's one of the best known stories in all the Bible, the story that Jesus told to illustrate some spiritual truth. It's a story of the prodigal son, and it still speaks to us today. Hi, and welcome to Encouraging Word. This is a brief daily word of encouragement from the Bible. I'm Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and so glad that you've taken the time to join us today. This story is told in Luke chapter 15. In the story of the prodigal son, you know that the younger son takes his inheritance early, uh, wastes it by his hard living and hard life, and ends up with nothing before uh, he finally decides to return home and is accepted back into the family. If an employee has nothing else, the Bible says that while he's not interested in anything spiritually or anything to do with the father, suddenly he wakes up to a situation. The Bible says when he came to his senses, he said to himself, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I'll set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. You know, there are people all around us who have no interest in spiritual things. Uh, as I said, they're interested in the here and now. Uh, they want to have fun. They want to enjoy life. They want the best for their family and friends, but they're really not talking about spiritual things. You try and talk to them about church. They're not at all interested in that. They have other things on their mind. Trying to talk to people like this is um, almost uh, fruitless. Uh, it almost um, uh, in talking to them about their spiritual condition in their life, it, it often yields no interest whatsoever. That's just not where they're at. But often they do reach a point where suddenly spiritual things become important to them. And uh, they realize that their search for meaning and fulfillment has come up empty. Um, they realize that they need more. And it may be something they've read, something they've heard online, somebody that's talked to them personally, maybe something they remember from years ago when they were kids in, in Sunday school, but suddenly they have an interest in spiritual things. What happens after this life? And how do I get more out of this life? And uh, many of you have children that were brought up in Sunday school, that people that you've been praying for. Um, they may have been brought up in church. Uh, they've heard the Bible stories, but they turned away, seemingly wanting no part of Jesus whatsoever. Um, some of you have dedicated them to the Lord, but they've turned away from God entirely. Listen, I just want to encourage you today, don't give up. Uh, don't quit. A day is coming well, when they will suddenly uh, think that they need more. Suddenly they will come to an awareness that their search for meaning has come up empty. And uh, the prayer should be, that someone will be there when that happens, when that moment comes that they turn around, that someone will be there to show them the love of the Father and to show them that they're always welcome and always accepted. Maybe today that's you. Maybe you have wandered away from God. Maybe you don't have a relationship with God that you you once had, or maybe you're interested in having a relationship with God. You've come to the point in life where you realize you're not ready for the next life, and even this life seems empty and meaningless, and you don't really know what you're here for. You're just going through the motions of living. God has so much more for you. There is more. Jesus said, anyone who's thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Jesus has so much more for you. And I want to encourage you today to turn to him. If you're praying for someone today, don't give up. God has a day when they will turn around and they will begin to look to Jesus. And our prayer should be that God will have somebody there, maybe it's us, to share good news with them that there's hope in Christ. And that's my prayer for you today. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your love and kindness to us. Thank you for your grace in our lives. Thank you, God, even for people in our lives that seemingly right now have no interest in spiritual things. But Lord, there's coming a day when they will come to their senses. They'll become aware of the fact that there's more to life than what they have right now. And I pray that, God, somebody will be there to show them life and show them love and show them the kindness of a father who accepts prodigal sons and welcomes them back with no hesitation whatsoever. So I pray, Father, today for everyone that's listening, whether we're praying for someone who has wandered away from you or whether we ourselves are not in a relationship that we should be. Help us to know that we can come back. We can come back to you and know your grace and know your love in our lives. We give you thanks for this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for taking time to watch this. I appreciate it. I uh, always appreciate when you hit the like button or hit the share button so others can see this as well. God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.